I think as we're entering the world of individualized medicine, we're seeing that one size does not fit all in terms of therapy, treatment, even uh, diagnosis. Women of African descent are three times more likely to have fibroids, are seven times more likely to have a surgery called a myomectomy. Immigrants and refugees as a whole, as a generalization, arrive to the United States healthier than the general population in terms of cardiovascular risk. But the longer they live here, the more they approximate and exceed that risk. Among American Indian men, there are regional disparities in prostate cancer incidence and outcomes. So there's more prostate cancer and more men die of prostate cancer. There's a lot of ways in which there are inequities or injustices in the system that we have. And they may not be even racial and ethnic disparities, right? They might be as much about socioeconomics. Those are often intertwined. If you look at the population and the demographics of the U.S. population, it's becoming increasingly diverse. Uh, we're seeing uh, different types of patients come into our doors as healthcare providers. We know from research that we all have our own inherent biases that we may not even recognize. Patients want to go places they know they'll be treated well and get the best standard of care and that their care won't be influenced by something that's completely irrelevant to their clinical care or their outcomes, right? You know, their race, their sexual orientation. I believe that healthcare systems are out in front and saying, you know, we're not ignoring this. We know that our intentions are extremely strongly egalitarian. It's part of our principles, but we also know that there's this huge body of work that says, hmm, maybe sometimes we're not even aware of this. Well, we're gonna make sure that we do know. The Office of Health Disparities Research was created to promote and to manage health disparities research across the institution. I see it as a one-stop shopping, one door for uh, investigators to come to if they have needs to increase a minority uh, representation and diversity in their studies. They need advice on how to do it. They need collaborators who can lead them to community partners. It provides seed funding for investigators. It provides an infrastructure for investigators to get their research done. It provides outreach teams so that investigators can get access to the communities. If you're looking for new funding opportunities, if you're looking for a way of diversifying your research portfolio, I think health disparities types of topics are well worth exploring. You are working with a more diverse patient population, you're going to do better science. When we do research with Native American communities, we have to make sure it's research with, not research on. And I think having shared resources, such as the OHDR, that helps discrete investigators um, uh, understand um, how to best approach these complicated issues is a cost-effective strategy. So I think the work of health disparities research is having a, a meaningful impact in, in, in communities across the country, but there's a need for much more, much more translation of what we know that contributes to disparities towards action.